Hey guys! Oh, pardon me. Welcome to Talking with Tachi. It's just brushing up on the story of American letters. Being from Canada, uh, obviously we don't learn a lot about the states, so I'm trying to catch up as good as possible. No, this is a new segment. The Mile in Minute was, uh, well, it was a little bit more professional, so don't expect too much. I'm here with my good friend. Uh, your name, sir? Uh, Mike Merrifield. And what number are you? Uh, number 13. And you play for the... The Blues? Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Now, is this your first year? No, this is my second year, actually. Okay. Now, where are you from, Mike? I'm currently uh, from Beverly Hills, Michigan. Beverly Hills? Yeah. Is, it, is it quite hilly there? Uh, it's, it's fairly hilly, I would, I would say. Do you ever run into any, you know, celebrities, Carrot Top or Paris Hilton? Uh, contrary to popular belief, this is not the real Beverly Hills, unfortunately. Oh, okay. You know, it's a little downgrade. What state or province is that? Oh, that's uh, Michigan. Okay. Now, a lot of people, this obviously created a big media stir. Uh, a lot of people were quite upset. Kim Jong-un was not involved in the People's 100 Sexiest People 2013. What are your thoughts? Uh, well, you know, I think you should win. I mean... Elaborate, please. You, you seen that guy with the shirt on? He's Fantastic he's, body. It's quite a specimen. I will agree on that. Uh, now, well, once again, contrary to popular belief, uh, a lot of people thought he was slighted. He did handle it quite well. Your thoughts on his... The way he took the bad news. I mean, anytime you uh, get praised with such an honor as you know, the sexiest man alive, and then it's just ripped right from your chest, it's just like that, you know, stuff. But he had a little bow, you know, get Dennis Rodman come over, hang out for a bit. Yeah, absolutely. Good buddies. Pick up his spirits a little bit. Right, right. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Now, Mike, you're an American citizen. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is it true that you're not allowed to visit the country of Cuba? And does that make you mad? Yeah, that's very true. And I found out the hard way when I tried to uh, get through airport security and was immediately flagged down and uh, chased down by German shepherds at the airport. Naturally. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Felt violated. Absolutely. Yeah, as, violated. as you should. I'm a dog lover. I'm a dog lover. Did but, you take uh, that to the authorities? Uh, no, no, I didn't press any charges. But uh, needless to say, I won't be making more trips to Cuba in the near future. Humble as always, folks. Greg Poss, our head coach, what does he skate like when he's on the ice with the hair blowing in the wind? That's an easy one. Reese with the rocket Richard. Now, for those of you who are actual hockey fans, you'll notice my friend here was incorrect. The correct answer is the flower, Guy Lefleur. Oh, yeah, that too. I forgot. My apologies. Who would Tato had best represent? Ooh, that's a tough one. Why don't we come back to that one? All right. I'll ask you another one. Oh, this one's fun. Who's the best dressed blade? Um, I would have to go with uh, Danik Gauthier. Not only is his color scheme spot on, being French Canadian, he has a fantastic beret that he likes to wear to the games. Fantastic je ne sais quoi, yeah, as they yeah, say in the movies. There is so much so. But uh, I get very envious every time I see it. I just, I just want to... It reminds me of a, a early Chubbs Peterson. For those of you who don't know, Chubbs was the PGT, Professional Golfers Tour, number one rookie sensation in 1967. Fortunately, his career was cut short due to an alligator injury. Lastly, if you could ever meet the Queen, what would you ask her? Oh man, That's, uh, there's just so many questions. Sure. But, uh, yeah, I, don't, I, I honestly don't know. I, I, can't, I can't answer that one. Fantastic. <laughs> well, Thank you, Blades fans, for joining us. This is episode one of Talking with Tachi. I apologize, I know my voice is a little high and whiny, but we're gonna work on that next week. Until next time, take care and good night.